Alright guys, and I'm back with some more Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. This is part 3 of the uh, walkthrough here. And in the last part, we basically learned how to hire up some men from mercenary camps. So I guess this is, I guess this is the main way to do things. And uh, off screen, I also uh, saw something new as well. I just uh, talked to this guy again to see exactly what you could do. And apparently I can change my men's equipment. So I have no idea what this does. I actually haven't I haven't actually pressed it, but uh, infantry, something to wear on their head. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, we'll give all of our infantry some quilted robes. Yeah. Um, that's it, I guess. Cool. Do I still have a good amount of money? Now. I have only 370, not much. Oh well, that's decent enough. And apparently I can upgrade my character too. Okay, so I'll put two points into strength, and I'll get one iron flesh. Um, and I'll put one into wound treatment, that'll improve the uh, speed that the party heals, which will be helpful once you get a little bit bigger armies, but even now it's good. Get that, and then I'll put half into one-handed and then half into firearms once again. Alright, so uh, basically where we left off, I have to go and hunt down this guy, and after that I'm going to try to get the warlord that I'm doing the task for to lower the taxes of the peasants in Zamoshai. So first off, we have to start heading over to, where is it, uh, Vendaw, and I'll just show it on the map because I'll never find it. <laughs> um, over here? Wait, didn't that use, no, I guess not, okay. Alright. Yeah, I guess not, okay, I was thinking of something else then. Alright. This map's quite huge, I will say that. Uh, so was Warbands, but this seems even uh, like a bigger map, even. So that's that's pretty nice. I love what they did with the major cities, too. You can definitely tell that they're really cool. That's pretty neat. That's a cool city. I want to kill it. All right. Caravan of the Crimean Khanate. No way I can handle those guys yet. And... Okay, so right now they're only recruits, right? And experience, okay. Alright, interesting. Well, looks like the uh, Crimeans are attacking the uh, Cossacks. It's interesting. I suppose. Foragers. Of the Cossacks. I, I don't... That's weird, okay. Foragers of the Cossacks. So there's foragers added in the game. That's a pretty neat feature. Guess they go around looting everywhere. It's kind of sad, but <laughs> nice job. Uh, you'll definitely see me looting a couple places, but hopefully I'll get enough money and like invest in some cities to where I don't really need to do it anymore. Okay, they're not coming after me. Whoa. Rebels? You know, I'm going to fight those guys just to help out my uh, party gain some experience. Okay. Eh, what is it? Um, your luck has run out, wretch. Prepare to die. Another fool will come to throw himself at my on my weapon, eh? Fine then, let's fight. That was some odd music, but in any case, I'm uh pretty interested to see how things will turn out here. I want my infantry to hold this position, and then marksmen hold this position. And if you guys are wondering how to do this, I only know this from Warband. This is um, this is from Warband. At least that's from where I know it. Uh, basically, all you have to do to activate uh, this menu here, which is much easier than the other menu that uh, you go from, like clicking one, two, three, four, and then the F1, F2, F3, F4. Uh, this is all you have to do to activate this is backspace. So that's quite simple. Other marksmen fall back a little bit. And fire it well. I 
I'm keeping my infantry back because I don't want them to just run right into the muskets quite yet. Have them charge now. Pretty neat fighting. That's a lot of muscles. Crap. Right. Oops. Hold this position. That is a. I hear a lot of musket ball just flying past my head, barely. Oh gosh! Dang. Well, I shouldn't have died. Yeah, I didn't die. Uh, really? Not a decide. Call your soldiers back, then. We're just leaving. That's uh, it's kind of cheap. I don't understand uh, what exactly is going on there, but uh, anyway, that that's one thing about Warband that I remember. The auto resolve feature is just horrible. Never works. But uh, yeah, we. I don't want my men to just die for no purpose because I do a much better job of leading them anyway. And looks like I lost a infantry guy. I don't really know. It's uh, not a big deal though. Let's uh, go to Vendor. Today the gods would decide Ooh. your fate. Right. That was a. I, I love the voice acting on that. That was pretty uh weird. I'll be honest. Okay. So yeah, definitely pull this position, marksman. Want to move our marksmen a bit up. Hold your fire too. Advance. I don't know what my infantry is doing. I want marksmen this position. And then infantry this position. And then marksman. Fire at will. Nice. There you go. Move our uh, infantry directly behind there. And I guess it would be a wise idea to just keep my uh, horse moving, because uh, otherwise I might get shot much easier. And infantry can charge now. I can't get shot, so I'm. Uh, that's uh, something that's really going to be annoying. Can't get shot. Need to be careful. Um, advance the men a little bit. Man, I can't hit. All right. There we go. Oh, wait, what? You lived? Dang. Come here. Ooh, that was a nice block there. Come on. Alright, you know what? I'm reloading my pistol and I'm just gonna kill this guy. Ow. There we go. Shot one more time because uh, I don't like you, and uh, that is the match right there. Yeah. All right. So I lost two men there. They were my infantry, and uh, yeah, they're not too good of infantry, but uh, obviously they're recruits. So kill all the brigands. It's like we got a ragged hat. Take it. All right. What is this? Twenty and thirteen. Nah, I have much better. Right. Sell all this stuff. Well, not all of it, but uh, quite a bit of it. And um, if any of you guys know how to loot better, please leave it down in the comments. Because uh, I've seen people who just like click and it automatically goes to their 
uh, inventory. I don't know how to do it, so please uh, tell me. Okay. Party gains 12 morale, and some soldiers are ready to be upgraded. Excellent. So we now have two experienced infantry. And we can head over to Vendaw, finally. And we're going to talk to the Elder. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Yep. Oh, no. Actually, I need to go look for him in the village. Alright, so to the village center. I should really wait for my wounds to heal, but, you know, whatever. Doesn't even matter. I might get shot, but it doesn't matter. Ooh, that looks like you. Okay, sir. Yes, what do you want? I'm looking for a murderer by the name of Neshoi the Golden Mouth. You fit his description. I do not know what you were talking about, sir. I assure you, I am just another one of the people who lives here. And then drop your sword if you are indeed innocent. Then you have nothing to fear. We'll go now and talk to our neighbors, and if they verify your story, I'll be on my way. I'm sorry, I meant your neighbors. Damn you, you're not going anywhere. Okay. What? <laughs> uh. Where am I? Oh, there you are. You lived a shot. That's impressive, dude. I'll be honest, I'm impressed. How did you live that, though? I, I, I mean, how did I not even hit that, but, you know, still. Okay, did not mean to fire. And he might actually kill me if I go in for a sword kill, so I need to wait. Dang, I cannot hit. Although this, uh, this pistol is pretty crappy, but still, I should be able to hit more effectively than this. There we go. If he lived through that, I would have gone insane. That would have been ridiculous. Alright, so that was the end of that. And can now leave and go talk to, um, the lord over in Smolensk. Because uh, that is the guy that we did the quest for, so I'm happy to return to him. Fully knowing that I was actually able to pull off the victory. Alright, let's uh, put it in uh, fast forward here really quick. Oops. Let me move uh, my keyboard a little bit. Okay. Uh, Foragers of the Swedish. Can I hit small on skip? I would love to find another one of those mercenary camps. I need some uh, more men. Okay, so first let's visit the tavern and see if there's any good mercenaries. There's a pikeman. I'm not going to fight with you because, as I said in the last video, I'll probably get bored of it. <laughs> anyway, pikeman. Seven, so eight pikemen for 280? I guess that's a good deal. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, I don't know why it's still in first person. This hat is so silly. <laughs> okay, uh, don't even need to talk to you. Uh, let's go to the fortress. He's not here, really. Uh, no talking on the sentry posts. Uh, all right. Where is he then? Pull it. See if we can find him somewhere. I really have no idea. Wait up, dude. I'm not trying to fight you. I just need to know. Uh, what do you want? I was just passing by, dude. Right. Okay, don't want to uh, get in a fight with them by myself. Actually, I kind of do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Eh, what is it? Your luck has run out, Rich. Prepare to die. The only reason I'm doing this is because, obviously, I have, um, pikemen. Alright, 
let's charge my uh, infantry. And apparently these guys actually don't have horses. I could have sworn they would. But no matter. I want these guys back here. Yeah, I lost a couple men. It's fine. Let's see if we can get a good shot. Oh, doesn't look like it. I really did not expect to. Alright, so let's go to this uh, last guy over here. He's about to have a very bad day. There he goes. Pulling out an axe, huh? Alright, so uh, there they go. My uh, mercenary pikeman did an extraordinary job. Good job, Ben. For victory! Alright. So I lost one infantry uh, experience recruit guy, so yeah. Uh, handmade firearm. Take it to sell and stuff. Get rid of some of this uh, useless and cheap items. There we go. And which looks better? That probably looks better. Um, gonna take like a bunch of this stuff because uh, I would love some money. And there we go. I need to sell all this stuff. And Smolensk is under siege. Okay. Well, let's go to the uh, marketplace here and. Sell all of this stuff that I don't want. Flour is uh, typically worth a lot, and so is oil. At least that's how it was in Warband. And this is the silly hat. Can sell that. Should probably buy some food, like some more food for the men. Let's see. Now nah, they're not really eating that much. Eh, that's good. Let's see, any good guys in the tavern? I think I was already here. Yeah, I was already here. Alright. The Muscovites. 93 men. That's pretty good. Anyway, like I said, this is going to be a Polish, uh, Polish walkthrough, so I need to help the Polish, but not quite yet, because I have no men to do so. The Polish still have a nice standing. As you can see, they have all these places that are in this side. Orangish, yellowish kind of color there. And I've been invited to play Napoleon. Uh, one moment, I'm just going to respond to this guy considering he's actually never talked to me before. So, uh, sorry. I'm recording. And there we go. Alright. So, let's see. I don't really know what I can do at Smolensk right now. And I need to find that one lord. Is he there now? No, he's not. Wow, 36 Polish Raiders. Raiders, anyway. Doesn't matter. Um, ooh, bandits. Yeah, basically the best thing I can do is uh, no train myself life. up. Okay. Uh, there's a toll for passing through this road, payable to us. So if you don't mind, cough up the silver or we'll collect or do ourselves. Uh, I'd rather not, to be honest, so no. Infantry hold this position, marksman this position. There we go. Where are they coming from? Are they seriously coming from over there? Well, infantry hold this position, marksman this position. There we go. It's actually kind of a bad position. There, that's better. Take our men a little while to get here, but beyond that, it should be fine. My pikemen are quite nice. Look at that. They have some nice armor on them there. Alright, well, it looks like my guys, uh, my marksmen just seem to want to do their own thing, so we'll just have all the guys charge. I'm actually going to take our marksmen off of fire at will and move them up to this position. Otherwise, that would get really old, them just sitting back there. So come on, guys. Get up here. I'm going to try to get around. 
My pikemen are owning those guys. I don't want to get shot. Okay. Marksman can fire at will now. Alright, I need to run. Can't get shot again. Luckily, one hit me and one hit the horse, otherwise if both hit me, I would've been so screwed. Yeah, so I'm getting out of here. Hopefully. I'm gonna take them off of firing, and we're going to advance them like four times. Yeah, those musket men just want to kill me at their... If anything else could possibly happen, they, they just want to kill me. Alright, so victory men. I'm gonna do a shot in the air for signal of victory. Victory! Okay. So I lost one pikeman and one was wounded. Wounded guy will heal back up shortly. 17 bandits killed. Excellent. 63, 69. <laughs> yeah, my pistol's better. Alright, we'll sell all this uh, other stuff though. And it seems like you have much less inventory space in uh, with Fire and Sword, so that's something to uh, keep in mind as well. Um, I'll take these two things, and then we're good. Okay. There's some more bandits over here. And we're going to fight these guys. Luck has run out. Okay. We want a marksman, hold your fire. Want to make sure we're going to position ourselves in a good location. So infantry up here, marksman here. And we should be ready to go. And uh, the thing I love about the uh, addition of these musket units is that you can use some knife formations now. It involves more strategy because you just charge your men straight at muskets. Uh, what's going to happen? Nothing good, I can tell you that. Alright, so I'm just going to put them on fire at will just because they can take some shots now. Wow, nice shot. I actually didn't expect any hits at this distance right now. But uh, we, we got one. I'm just here in the back. Jeez! I hate hearing the, like, the musket shots just coming so near you. Jeez. Um, I'll charge my infantry in just uh, a couple of seconds, but uh, I want my marksman to get a good shots. Get a couple of good shots. I'll just charge him now. I'm gonna try to get him focused on me. It looks like that's what they're gonna do. So I'm just gonna try to keep them busy. And yep, my muskets, uh, not my muskets, my uh, pikemen are now into their formation. They're just gonna rip them up. I'm just gonna take a shot over there just to see what I can hit. Nothing. Oh, who called it? Uh, looks like one of my uh, mercenary infantrymen actually went down. My Tatar. I think that's what they're called. I hate it when they're looking at me and they shoot at me. They're too close for comfort. Alright. So, let's see. Looks like we've almost taken out these guys. Let's see. Yeah, victory, man! Victory! Alright, so yeah, we lost we lost that one Tatar infantry, uh, experienced infantry. And we killed all 13 of the bandits. Large bag of bullets. It's better than mine. And what should we get? We'll take that to sell. That. That. That's good. Alright, so we have a decent amount of stuff, and I think this is where I'm going to call the set, guys. So, uh, not, not the set, I should say. I should say the uh, video. I'm so used to it being sets, but uh, I'm quite liking how it's going so far with the uh, single videos. Anyway. 
In this part, it was kind of... It, it had some decent battles, but uh, basically what we did in this part, we uh, took, a, took care of a bunch of bandits, because bandits are always annoying and so fun to kill. And uh, also, Smolensk has been besieged, and I need to find that one lord that I uh, hunted down the murderer for, so... Hopefully I can get him to lower the taxes of Moshai, and that will cause a whole chain of events that uh, can only go well for me. So I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, uh, this mountain blade with fire and sword walkthrough. I know I am so far, and I'll be back to you guys soon with some more mountain blade with fire and sword videos. Thanks for watching.